watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. We're thrilled, delighted to have you with us. And I was praying about our time together and I love this verse. It's a phenomenal verse because it speaks to the idea of trusting and waiting on God. It's Isaiah 64 verse four and it says, from the days of old, they have not heard or perceived by ear, nor has the eye seen a God beside you who acts on behalf of the one who waits for him. You might be watching today and you're struggling because you tried to make some things happen. You tried to, you know, see a great raise or promotion. You tried to get in, into a school and it maybe didn't happen. Or you're thinking about a mate and trying to push it forward. And God wants to encourage you, if you'll wait on him and trust in him, put your confidence in him and less in your flesh, you'll see some amazing things happen that go far beyond your natural understanding or ability. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We love to pray for you. And mom, God answers prayer. God answers prayer. And we want to thank you partners and all of you wonderful people who really stand behind us and pray for us and do these good things. But let me just share a testimony with you. I'm not reading this testimony because I heard it. A young woman was watching our program. She had been very wild in her university days and she had had several abortions. And she watched our program one day and prayed and invited Jesus into her heart. And so here she can't have children and she has two boys. She, you know, when she invited Jesus into her heart, I mean, her life, her body, everything changed. And we're so happy with that. And we're happy with our guest today. That's right. Dr. Sandra Kennedy. Oh yes. my goodness. It's about healing. <laughs> yes. Who, who doesn't need healing? I know. Everybody Some needs place. healing. That's Some right. place you do. Maybe every place. Today will change your life. I'll tell you. Pastor Sandra Kennedy, thank you so much for being with us thank today. Thank you for letting me be Long here. time friend. Long time. Long That's time. Right. <laughs> Long time. Now, not everybody in our audience is familiar with you, so right. just give us a quick little biography and then we'll jump right into The Simplicity of Healing. This is a great, great book. So thank help you. us know thank who you. you are a little bit. I pastor a church in Augusta, Georgia, uh, Whole Life Ministries. Uh, we just celebrated 34 years. Uh, the first woman pastor anywhere around, and I am Southern Baptist still ordained, <laughs> and was one of the first in the nation to, to be wow. ordained. And but God has just blessed us. We have a healing center there that people have come from all over the world, and uh, we also have a, a restaurant that we has won number one for four years straight in the city. It's the best restaurant in town. because really? we And we have scriptures all over the wall and proclaiming the goodness of God. I mean, our whole purpose is for it to be evangelism, yes. you know, to, to get people to come in. And so we try to do a coffee shop and try to do everything to the city to just, they'll come to, to these places when they won't come to church, you know. So we're out uh, just trying to get everybody we know to fall in love with Jesus and then, of course, we've always been, since I was about nine years old, God spoke to me about one day he would use me in healing. Mm. And so it's just been a part of who we are from day one. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Now, I like this too. You were very good friends with Kenneth Hagan. Yes, he was like my father he, in the faith. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and he would come to you yes. and yeah, and yeah. a part. So I think that um, I, a lot of people sow into our lives. Yes. And I have found that Healing is the dinner bell. Yes, it is. 
it works uh -huh. in atheist countries, uh -huh. it works with Hindus, with yeah. Muslims, right. with communists, whatever. Uh -huh. You're right. It just works. Yeah. And I like this that you don't make it complicated because right. I think people think, well, I have to look better, do better, right. think better, right. all these things, right. but they don't see that it's a provision. Right. So share why you have this book out. Well, the, I, I've been, of course, teaching healing and, and, and dealing with healing for many, many, many years. And uh, our friend, whom I know you know too, Sid Roth, he yeah. asked me, uh, I, uh, he and I are good friends, and so he, he came to me, he said, will you please write a, a book on healing that's very simple. I said, oh, that's easy because I'm simple. You know, no problem <laughs> with that. So I, I, that's the, the real reason I wrote this particular one and uh, to make it so that anybody, anywhere, at any point, any place, as far as I'm concerned, could grab hold of it. And uh, I always say my job is to get people to fall in love with Jesus. Because yes. if you really fall in love with Jesus, it's easy to accept what He's done right. for you when you really fall in love with right. Him. So that's the reason that I wrote it to start off with for Him. And then it grew into, my goodness, you know, people need to know how simple it really is. Well, in a book, it's like a missionary. Right. You may not be there to teach them, but you leave this mm -hmm. and it works while you sleep. Absolutely. That's <laughs> great. Absolutely. I'd like to encourage you mm -hmm. to get the book because it's called... The simplicity of healing. You know, I think sometimes we get it so complicated about what we have to do rather than what He has done. Amen. And so call in, leave your prayer requests because, and we'll be praying for the sick. But let me tell you, I believe this is something you will keep by your bed and you'll think, I don't just have to have healing. I have to live in health. Amen. You know, he's Jehovah Rapha. Mm -hmm. And so I like th this. Anybody can read it. Anybody yeah, can receive. You know, you say, well, I, it's too complicated. <laughs> it's not complicated <laughs> at all. Mm -hmm. You will love it. So call us right now. Now, I like this about books. I always say they're missionaries. They work while you sleep. I wouldn't just get one. I'd get two or three. And then I'd pass them on to people that you know who need healing. And maybe you have a Bible study or a small group, you know, maybe you're a pastor. And folks, we need healing for our people. So you might want it for your whole church. That's big, oh, that's isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Wow. Sarah, go ahead. What, um, what would you say? This is a little bit off the script. Sure. Um, so I'm really good at these mm -hmm. like spontaneous questions. Yeah. But um, what would you say would be the first noteworthy healing that you experienced like in your life and you saw this through your ministry? And what did that do for you? The very first outstanding healing that I ever saw, Sarah, <laughs> was with my mother. And... Uh, uh, and I had all, I was always interested in healing because as I said, the Lord spoke to me when I was about nine. I didn't know what was happening. He just said, one day I'll use you in healing. But anyway, my mother was Baptist. And uh, the long and short of the story is that uh, I got a call. I was working for the Baptist up in, in Baltimore. And my mother had cancer and they said that she wasn't going to make it through the weekend. And this was when they sent people home to die. So I came home and my brother said to, said to me, that uh, uh, mother's not going to make it through the weekend. She's in a coma, not going to make it through the weekend. She probably will not recognize you. On the plane, Marilyn, as I'm coming, I had never heard anything like this. I mean, it scared me, really. I was not spirit-filled at the time by any means. And I heard like a typewriter saying, Tell your mother the Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Tell her there's no sickness in heaven. And I heard it three times, and it, and it frightened me. I didn't even have to know what I was hearing. And I said, tell somebody else. <laughs> you know? yeah. And I had just led my older sister to the Lord. Well, when I got home, I was on a Friday. I got home. Mother did not recognize me. She was in a coma. She was at home. And uh, the next morning, got home Friday night. The next morning, Saturday, they said she wouldn't make it through the weekend. On Saturday, my sister called me, and she said, I don't know if I had a dream. I don't know what it was. And she quoted the same thing. The Lord told me to tell Mama, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Tell Mama there's no sickness in heaven. So she came over. Mama's laid out on the bed 
we got right there. We were we were so ignorant and didn't know any better, and just we just did what we heard. And so we laid our hands on Mama, and we just kept saying the same thing for five hours. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is heaven. And after about five hours, Mama stirred a little bit, stirred around a little bit. And so, I mean, we got excited then, you know. We were both Baptists. We didn't know what we were doing. And so, I don't know why we did this. We drug Mama up. We got her out of the bed. She couldn't even walk. She'd been in a coma. We got her up, got her in her chair. She got in the chair and slid out of the chair. So one of us got behind her, <laughs> held her in the chair like this. You know, one's holding her in the chair like this. And, wow. And I'm, in, and, and I'm the one who's really knowledgeable because I just led my sister to the Lord. And so I'm standing there with that. And the thought went through my mind, anoint her with oil. I had never, ever seen anybody anointed with oil. I thank God for my Southern Baptist background, but I'd never seen anybody anointed with oil. I never even heard anybody teach on healing. And, and so I thought, no, no, with oil, no, no, with oil. So we began to look for oil. Only thing we could find was a Crisco lard. <laughs> lard. You in the can. Lard. Old time. I mean, oh, yeah. We fried yeah. chicken with and, it. You know, I'm telling you. We got it. And we put a dab here, put a dab here, put a dab here. <laughs> then the question comes to your mind. If you're ignorant, you don't know. The question comes to your mind. Well, where are you supposed to put it? And how much are you supposed to put? The long and short of the story is we kept on and got so carried away until we greased up. I'm from the South. We greased her up like a hog. (laughs) We couldn't even hold her in the chair. (laughs) But we did it in faith. Right. I mean, we, we, we did all we knew to do. And that woman was instantaneously healed. Wow. Instantaneously healed. And when she got where she could talk to us, I asked her one simple question. Mama, what if it's up to you whether you live or die or not? Because she kept saying, well, maybe the Lord, you know, has put this on me to teach me something. And I said, no, no, that's not so. I said, what it was up to you? And I knew she was healed, Marilyn, when she looked at me and said, well, stupid, I'd choose to heal, be healed. Nice. <laughs> when she said Sweet. that to me, I thought, nice. she's healed. And when Sweet. she started calling me stupid, you Sweet. know, and praise God, she was instantly healed. I love this, yeah. and I know you do, and I know that you want to hear more, but let me just give you a little quickie at the book because I see some things here that you may be wondering about because healing is God's dinner bell. It works in every country, every language. Healing works. And we're going to be back with more easy information for you to be healed. And of course, call in, get the book, leave the names of your loved ones who need healing. Hey, we believe this is a miracle day for you. So stay right there. Receiving your healing is not complicated. It's as simple as believing and speaking God's Word. For your gift of $39 or more, we will send you Dr. Sandra Kennedy's book, The Simplicity of Healing. In this groundbreaking book, you'll learn how God's Word is your secret to building an unshakable faith, releasing your faith through confession and declaration, activating the power of agreement. We will also send you Marilyn's Total Healing Book and CD Teaching Set. Through this powerful book and CD set, Marilyn captures the very heart of God's desire for you, total healing in your spirit, soul, and body. She walks you through the practical and spiritual ways God can heal you, giving you the tools you need to pray for total healing in your life and the life of your loved ones. And to complete this great offer, we will include Marilyn's God's Benefit Healing Booklet. God's Word holds the key to your healing and wholeness. Learn how to release its miracle power over every area of your life. Call or click today to receive this valuable resource.
I love this in this book. I needed a miracle. And Sandra's telling you how she got that miracle, which of course inflated her faith. But you know, my first miracle was when I got born again. And I think sometimes That's true. we think, well, I'm okay. I, I do good things and so on. But to be born again is to invite Jesus into your heart and believe that he died for your sins and arose from the dead. And he comes in and he never leaves you. See, I did that at 16. I'm 86. He's still there. And that's the best of all. So I just want to lead you in prayer. I don't want to just talk about it. I want you to do it. And maybe you're backslidden. Who knows? Maybe you're out there doing junky stuff. You don't, you're not a piece of junk. God loved you so much he sent his son for you. So pray with me. Say, Father, I believe that you love me. You sent Jesus to die for my sins. And he arose from the dead. I believe that. I repent of my sins and invite you, Jesus, to come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Thank you. You will never leave me nor forsake me. Amen. Amen. That's the biggest Best miracle of all. all. <laughs> and that gives us eternal life. Yes. Now share some more with us about how you needed a miracle and what what God was cooking for you. <laughs> well, you know, as we were talking, when, when we went off the air, we were talking about that, that uh, the Lord's Prayer and the yes. simplicity of yeah. there is no sickness in heaven. Right. Uh, and having to make a decision about what you're going to do about that and if God's big enough, you know, to uh, heal you here, which He's already done. You and I both know He's already done it. Right. And we're just trying to take hold of what He's done. Well, what happened to me was I had a, uh, a little Sheltie puppy and a uh, little dog, and I was sitting on a sofa just, just like this, and the dog was sitting right here by me, and I went to get up. You know how you'll do like this to get yeah. up? And I did like that. When I bent over, she jumped up and hit me here. And when she did, she closed her mouth, the little pointed mouth they have. She closed her mouth and scratched down here and r took off from right here to here of my lip. Totally took it up. I didn't know what had happened. There was too much blood. I, di I didn't know what had happened. I just ran into the bathroom, got a towel, and, and called a friend and, uh, and said, y'all, I need to go to the emergency room. I, I still did not know really what had happened. I'll go to the emergency room. First thing the nurse says to me is, where is your lip? Well, I almost fainted, it, you know. Oh. And uh, I thought, my lip, you know. And, uh, and I, I didn't know where my lip was. I didn't know if the dog had eaten the lip. I didn't know where the lip was. You left your <laughs> lip at home, right? I left my lip at home. <laughs> so, but, uh -huh. And she said, uh, well, they needed a plastic surgeon. I didn't even know one. So we called one in. And so he, when it, time he looked at me, he says, this cannot, I can't do anything with this. He says, if it were the bottom lip, it would, re, it would restore itself. But because it's the top lip, it will not restore itself. And he said, so we're going to have to go immediately into surgery because it was ragged. And he says, I've got to straighten it like a piece of pie. I've got to go in and cut it like a piece of pie and then pull it to, you know, pull it together. So he cut more of it off. And I said, wait, 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 wait. Give me your hands. This is my face. This is my lip. <laughs> Let us pray. And so I prayed and he said, uh, there's, just, there's just no way this cannot be fixed. Went in, had the surgery. Coming out, I waked up and, and, and the, as he was doing the last stitch, and I heard him say to the nurse, he says, I don't know why. He said, normally in this circumstance, I would have sewn the lip together, all of it together, and come back in three weeks and slid it open. And I was, I was thinking, uh-uh, I'm a preacher. Don't do that. I'm thinking all this stuff, you know, <laughs> right. and couldn't say anything. And then uh, he said, but I just felt not to do that. Well, when I came out of the surgery, he used from the south again, another black cat gut thread, black awful thread. So here I am with my nose over here, literally, because he's pulled it. My nose over here, my mouth totally flopped side like this, and the only place I could speak out of was a little corner right here. Mm -hmm. I could say, and I could do, and I, you could hear me just about like that. 
And uh, he said, you're going to have to have three to six more surgeries. They will never be able to see your teeth again, and you'll never be able to smile again. Hmm. And uh, I said, no, no, God's going to do this. I'll never have another surgery. I'll never have surgery. Long story short, I went home, and I got every picture of me smiling, and I put it all over uh, the bathroom, all over the kitchen, all over every door. I just plastered those pictures, and I kept telling my lips, you're going to grow. And I'd, I'd say, look in the mirror, grow. I command you in the name of Jesus. I command you to grow. I command you. And I said, I know what they said, but I know what you say, Lord. You hold know? on, hold on, hold on. Because some of the people watching right now uh -huh. have, have heard from the doctors, yeah. it's impossible, it can't be yeah, fixed. Right. It's not, it's, it's hopeless. And right. I want to encourage you right now. You're listening to this story and you see Pastor Sandra right now and she is her, you know, you never see the another, evidence I've of never, it, right? Uh -huh. So you need to pick up the phone, call right now, yeah. get on the website. Number one, we want to obviously pray for you because nothing is impossible with God. Humans, we know, humans say right. impossible. Right. God says possible. Right. So hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. And also grab your copy of The Simplicity of Healing. Because what you're hearing right now, you've heard from your own doctor. You have right. friends or your family who have heard from the doctor. Impossible, mm -hmm. not going to happen, chronic, no change. Right. And God wants to tell you and kind of to give you a wake-up call. Wait a second, mm -hmm. I don't have to settle for impossible. Mm -hmm. So keep going. Well, and that's what, and he said, no way, you know. Mm -hmm. So I put all the pictures so that I would get it in my mind, you know, and what I looked like. And uh, so I went through a series of that. And then when I went back to see him, he said, uh, I don't know what you're doing, but something's working. I said, well, let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm speaking in my lip and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And he said, well, we got to look at this book. And he wanted me to look at a book of cleft lips. And he said, because this is what you're going to be like forever. You will not ever be able to see your teeth or anything. And I said, no, I refuse to look at that. I will not look at that book. I will not. I said, I'll look at my pictures at my house, but I will not look at that book. And uh, in, 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 the, in the process of this, I kept talking to myself and looking at these pictures and telling telling my lip to do what I wanted it to do in the name of Jesus. Even though you, you have to understand, they said it was impossible. They said it could not move, that it, none of this could happen. And, but I kept on doing it. And I, 10 days from the day that it happened, I had to do a healing explosion. <laughs> and here wow. I am, oh, lopsided oh, like oh. this. Oof. I used my mic like this. Mm -hmm. You could hardly understand the thing I was saying. And I was teaching on, I'm a whosoever going after my whatsoever. And when I got to that point, I turned my back to these, this, the audience. And I said, every man for himself. And I turned my, and threw my hands in the air and, I, and, and said, you know, I want this whatsoever is going to get out of my way. This lip's going to move. And it moved. But just a tad now, just a tad, I just felt this little movement take place. And people said, well, how long did it take it to, to get, about six to eight months, to be absolutely yeah. honest. Took about six to eight months, but I never stopped. I never had surgery. I've never had another surgery. Never had anything done to it. And and uh, it just kept moving. And I just kept doing the pictures and kept telling it to move. Keep move. Keep move. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command you to move. In Jesus' name. I will have my, my smile. You will see my, my teeth. I will be who Jesus says I am. I will not be what man says I am. And Lord, you said nothing is impossible with you. Mm. And so I, I try in the book to tell them how I did it. Yes. You know. You do the how yeah. in the book. Yeah. It is really, really good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, seeing and speaking and the hearing ear and the seeing eye the Lord gives. That's Proverbs 20, 12. Yes, that's the scripture God is speaking to you. Mm -hmm. But I want you to speak to us. I want you to call. Don't go into a lot of detail and don't ask us to counsel. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. But just tell us what you want God to heal in your body. And we're going to have prayer for you. And of course, you know, folks, I constantly feed my faith. Get two or three of these books. Leave your prayer requests and know that Jesus answers prayer. Know that Jesus wants you whole. W-H-O-L-E. Yes. And that's spirit, soul, and body. So Pastor Sandra is really dealing with her spirit, her soul, and her body changed. So can yours. So can yours. And I'm so glad you watched this. God has good things for you. 
Receiving your healing is not complicated. It's as simple as believing and speaking God's word. For your gift of $39 or more, we will send you Dr. Sandra Kennedy's book, The Simplicity of Healing. In this groundbreaking book, you'll learn how God's word is your secret to building an unshakable faith, releasing your faith through confession and declaration, activating the power of agreement. We will also send you Marilyn's Total Healing book and CD teaching set. Through this powerful book and CD set, Marilyn captures the very heart of God's desire for you, total healing in your spirit, soul, and body. She walks you through the practical and spiritual ways God can heal you, giving you the tools you need to pray for total healing in your life and the life of your loved ones. And to complete this great offer, we will include Marilyn's God's Benefit Healing Booklet. God's Word holds the key to your healing and wholeness. Learn how to release its miracle power over every area of your life. Call or click today to receive this valuable resource. Pastor Sandra, if you don't mind, just take a few moments to pray for each person because they need healing in their bodies and healing all over their lives. So let's pray for them. You know, no matter where you are, no matter what's happening to you, God is bigger than and greater than any situation that would come your way. So I'm just going to lock my faith in with you and I want you to agree with me because there's nothing stronger than the prayer of agreement. We agree in the name of Jesus that whatever that thing is, now I'll start off with God did not make you sick. God is a healer. He is not somebody who makes you sick. So we come against sickness of any sort, any kind, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. We curse that thing that has invaded your body. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We command for it to wither and die and get out of your body in the name of Jesus. We call for creative miracles. We call for things that are dead. The Bible says, you know, that he makes dead things come to life again. So whatever is dead in your body is trying to make you even think you're going to die. Just Throw it out the window, honey, and call on Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I life you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet with the word of the living God. And I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe this is your miracle day. Put your hand on your heart. Say, I believe this is my miracle day. The best is ahead and the worst is behind. Hello, what's in the future? It's all good. I have a loving father. He is wild over me today. <laughs>